So, how's it going guys? Shady here back to our tech profile and today I bring you my Fire Brigade decklist. It's at least how I call the Tri Brigade Fire King deck profile. And I've been looking around online and I have not found uh, a build like this. Uh, so I just wanted to share my findings on uh, this decklist. I feel like this is the way to go. I've been testing it with it and it's just so, so strong going second. Uh, for some reason, I was not expecting it at all, but I've been be able to just break boards so easily and I feel like the small Fire King engine that I'm playing just helps a lot with it. Uh, but yeah, this is more focused around the Fire King, so <clears throat> let me just get into the deck profile, yeah. Um, so yeah, before I go, uh, I'm testing a new setup, so if anything should be changed, let me know. I'm just trying some stuff out. Uh, I have the new tripod with uh, some light setup so I'm still trying on it so if you like it uh, just let me know otherwise I'll have to look up into it and just try to uh, find something um, some setup that is better uh, but yeah let's just get into this um, as I said um, really small fire king engine so let's just get into the deck list and disclaimer, there are some proxies in here because I'm waiting for some cards to arrive. So if some cards look funky, don't um, don't be stressed. It's just some proxies uh, that I just do, uh, that I just made for, for just playing and testing it. So let's get into the deck list. 41 cards. I just couldn't cut anything down anymore. Um, so yeah, uh, we're playing triple fractal, triple kit, double nerval. Double ner uh, double Keras, one revolt, triple tinky. I just feel like this is the best way to play um, this engine. Uh, the kids are super strong with the rest of the deck and fractal as well. For tinky, just gives you so much consistency and you just cannot cut either Keras or Nerval. I've tried, it just doesn't work. They come in grind games. You just really need it. So yeah, this is our um, fire. Um, tri, tri Brigade, sorry, engine, and seeing multiples of this is not bad, as long as you have one of the playable ones uh, with like um, Kit Fractal, uh, we're Gucci, uh, you know, as long as you see one of them, we're more than okay, or even if you just see like uh, Keras Nerval, it's still playable, because we play the Link one just for that, you know, but yeah, that's it for our Try Brigade Engine, then we have the, the Dive Elsa with one original Sinful Spoils. I do not play Wanted because I cannot afford it. And if you can't afford it, don't be discouraged to not try this deck. If you have the Wanted, you can just add three copies of Wanted and play 44, uh, which is, some players think it's the correct way to go with 12 hand traps. So do as you wish. I'm having a lot of fun with this. The only problem is if you draw which plus this it's bad but it's a price to pay for not uh, uh, not uh, being able to afford the 400 hero card for 400 hero engine then fire kings i'm playing really small as i said for two ponix two garunic uh, one garunix one arvata one kirin the two islands and one sanctuary uh, the way you play this is you want Ponyx not every time. This is not focused around the Fire Kings. Um, it's more focused around the Tri Brigade. So when you have access to Ponyx, it's really nice, but you really don't need it most times and can m most times just be like follow up because you can search it with Shrey if you set up your board well enough. So it's good follow up always. And, you know, if getting Witch comboing off without normal summoning is really nice, especially to, especially to play around things like Nibiru for us, or to just go into boards. So I feel like this is more like a going second engine that has consistency applications going first. And this is why I just played such small numbers. The third Ponyx does not come up. I've tried to test, I've tested it that way. Two is more than enough. The one Garunix, just for uh, engine requirements, you can search Tri Brigades with this because this can pop a uh, kit from the deck. Um, Arvata and Kirin are for Moss Reborns, but sometimes a Kirin is good to keep in your deck because this is good going into a board 
it's better going into a board and Arvata can also be a monster reborn for uh, tri brigade monsters so uh, they have their places and of course if you use go first you normally use Arvata so that you can set up in your second turn going into your opponent's board if they have a board just pop Kirin, bring back Arvata, pop a card, which means that you get one disruption and a monster negate to your board at the same time, which is really nice. And I wanted to play Triple Island, but I felt like having a third island really uh, by itself would be uh, really worse. And so I just played one Sanctuary, which also comes up for Witch uh, and Droplet. So um, yeah, the Sanctuary does come up and that's why I decided with these ratios. Uh, then you will play Triple Prosperity because you need consistency in this deck. I was not playing it before I tested it, I was playing a more greedy version with Parong and stuff to try and, and also get the Xyz8. You don't need Xyz8. The Xyz8 is not as good. It's just a board wipe, which as some decks, they don't even care about the board wipe. So focusing so much on bringing out Xyz8 is not good at all. It's like it's it this is like snake eyes, you know. You you want to play um, more with the snake eyes than with the fire kings when you're playing snake eyes fire kings. You want the flamberge dash to pull um, to do the more the most damage, you know, to make your engine rotate, make make so that you can have bigger plays, and not the fire kings itself. This is the same thing right here. You're playing for the the tri brigades and not for the fire kings so um yeah uh, you just need more consistency uh, it also can hurt a bit prosperity for our deck because we use a lot of uh, extra deck spaces but i feel like uh, it's good enough and even if if uh, if not you can just only prosperity for three if you're not uh, um, comfortable with your um resource management i mean like looking at the three cards of your deck and adding one to your hand is still pretty busted um then we get one uh, for our non-engine triple talents triple droplet um triple ash triple imperm uh this deck loves uh going second and first so i have a hybrid of board breakers and end traps so that it is good going first and second uh, neither of these cards are dead going either first or second droplet, especially when we play Tanky and Sanctuary. Uh, it's also, at, at most, uh, just an Imperm for one during uh, when you go first, so it's not really bad. At least it's an Imperm which your opponent can't respond to with some certain cards, so that's really nice. Um, the worst here to draw as your sixth draw for turn uh, is Ash, uh, but at least it's fire so you can pop, so it's, it is relevant, uh, the attribute for Ash. And so this is why I chose this non-engine. Uh, it's good into boards, it's good going first to set up your, your, your board. I just really like it, and even the talents, which are like dead if your opponent doesn't interact with you, you can just shuffle them back into your deck with the, the Tri-Brigade, so... Uh, at least there's that, as long as you don't draw triple uh, talents, they're, they're not really that dead. That's it for main deck, was 41 cards, let's get into the extra deck. Uh, really, really basic, it's just uh, the Tri-Brigade engine. Uh, one light art, the link one does come up. I just said, for example, if you open uh, Keras Puzzle it does come up. Don't, uh, don't just, uh, just just play it like there's no problem with playing it at all uh like it does come up it does come up if you want to go into sp sometimes it does come up if you want to go into uh, certain monsters but you can't like go into a link to war tree uh, link climbing the light art is really really good and does come up when you need it i have been testing it i was not playing it at the start i regret it every time uh, Farajit, you can uh, try to put this to two because this is good going first and second as like an extension to your board. So the second one might come up, but I don't do, I don't really know what to cut for it uh, because the bear room is necessary. The Rugal is also necessary so that you ac do have access code with your tri brigades, and the second Shrek does come up uh, in grindier games. So 
uh, there's just not enough room for a second Farajit. Because now we play one Link Rebel, we play the Charmers, we play the SP, we play the Selene, and we play Access Code Appaloosa for uh, number one setting boards, number two going into OTK. Uh, Link Rebel is really nice also because that means your Ponyx is now uh, uh, is now making you able with just the Fire Kings to go into either Dark or Hira. And also, if you then go into a Nerval for your combos, you can chain, you can just dodge imperms and stuff with Link Rebo, which is really nice. SP is just really good in this deck because that makes it so Fractal is now a one card combo with a decent end board of two interruptions. So one card, two interruptions is really nice, okay? Let's 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 not pretend like that's uh, that's bad or at all. It's it's really nice to just use one card and then on two interruptions uh, for the tri brigades. Uh, especially because they give you follow up really easily as well, uh, so uh, that's that's really really nice. Uh, Celine, of course, for access code setup, access code. It's just OTK. Sometimes you can even force eight thousand damage without using your normal summon, without committing to a tri brigade play uh, with this deck because of this package. I love this package a lot. And the Apple is, of course, uh, it's our end board most times. This is mostly Apple of the deck uh, because you, every two card combo ends on Apple uh, uh, The one card combos all end on SP. It's just, why wouldn't you want an Apple Lusa? You just need to be really, really careful uh, how you play it, especially because one talents. Uh, your your uh, your board is weak to talents because if you use Appaloosa too early and they do talents, they just steal your Appaloosa and now you can't charade. I mean, you can't charade because you know you can chain block it with the... But it, it it's not as good, okay? Uh, but yeah, uh, the Appaloosa. And the two last cards from our Aster deck are one, the Garunix, which I am considering cutting because it's good in theory. Uh, you're not making it during your opponent's turn. You're just uh, being uh, delusional if you think you can make it in this deck. And if you think that is the correct way to go, you're also delusional because this is not as good. Most decks that are on the meta float when pops like Fire Kings and uh, Unchained. Unchained might not be as prevalent right now, but Fire Kings will be and it just floats or activates its effects off of it. So this is not good at all. Um, but it can be nice into board breaking, for example, you know. Um, but I just feel like you don't, um, you most times don't get to the two level eight. So I feel like I might cut this for an underworld goddess, so that you can threaten going second. Um, you can force um, the pearly players to react to your plays otherwise they just get underworld goddess and you otk them from there and of course we have the one typhon because it's broken it's just a floodgate against decks like manadium you just just says win it just says you win basically it's really really strong really 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 strong uh, but yeah, I'm considering to cutting this. I will probably play the Roll Goddess if I cut it. I might cut it. I cut it for uh, next uh, week. Then going to the side deck, we play triple draw, triple DD Crow, triple Dogran. Uh, this package is all good against Pearly, but it's also really good against Manadium and stuff with the Droll and Lockbird. Diddy Crow is also good against, for example, Tier Elements, Unchained, Fire Kings. Uh, so it has its uses. can also be okay against um, Labyrinth because you just like snipe off their Cook Lock when they try to play in your turn and it's just they don't do anything. They lose three cards in their hand. Uh, so and if you have any way to remove the trap, then you can just remove the trap and now they, they went minus three for nothing. Um, and Dogran just completely shits on Pearly. Uh, you play Prosperity, so the chances of digging into Dogran or 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 something is, 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 not, um, is not that bad. And yeah, I really like Dogran. It can also be, uh, be good into another deck and it's a fire, so it's, if you break on it, you can at least pop it with Island. 
and then we play triple evenly. Triple summon limit evenly is really good, especially against rescue ways because it just cuts them off of their grind game. If they don't make uh, an Omni Negate, it's bad. If you can bait the Omni Negate, for example, if you have Imperm, you just Imperm the Omni Negate and then make your opponent get rid of the whole board. Really, really nice. Uh, just cuts them off their grind game because they can shuffle back the traps. And summon limit can be good because you just flip it. Um, and most decks do nothing against this unless they have Fenrir on board and they can just go battle phase poof but if you know they play Fenrir you can just uh, try to force Fenrir first and then flip this uh, like for example you can just try to revolt them uh, so that they f they use their Fenrir and then you just flip this and then they pass turn and you play and you win uh, because you, you really just need one a normal summon to play the game as as like um, a, a, as like a tri brigade player because you just go normal special summon a link from the extra deck and go battle for example or you can just normal and uh, make the XCs go battle go over that Fenrir for example and just play f floodgate depending on what your opponent's doing. Uh, what's your opponent's um, um, deck? So yeah, summon limit is really nice, and that's it. Going to it's that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want me to do some test stands or combo videos, I might show some of the most uh, prevalent combos and some nice ways to force boards uh, as well. And yeah. I'm gonna leave you guys with this for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like down below if you did. Comment if you have any suggestions or questions. And subscribe to never miss any of my future videos. And that's gonna be it. I'm gonna see you guys next time.